So, do you remember the last time that I posted about the fake Embryolis moisturizer that I got online? Well, I also bought Milano CC from that shop and I actually showed a photo of the um, the Embryolis moisturizer together with the Milano CC essence in that video. But since uh, I bought a fake Embryolis moisturizer, I think it was safe to assume that the Milano CC essence that I got was also a counterfeit. But I still tried the Milano CC essence just to see how it feels and all. I have no reference, I have no idea how it feels, how it looks and all. But since I already have a doubt from that shop, um, just to be safe, I did not continue using the Milano CC essence. Now, recently, my cousin went to Japan and I asked her to get me the Milano CC Essence. Actually, this product is very accessible in Japan. You can buy it anywhere. It's, it's like you can buy it in Bukatsons, in Mercury Drug. It's actually a very affordable product. This actually retails from, I think in Japan, it retails around 500 or less. And here, on the same shop where I bought my fake Embryolis, it retails around that much then. Now, we're going to compare it side by side. This is the one that I got from that same shop in Shopee. This is the one that I got from Japan. So, if you're going to compare it side by side, you will see no difference. But if you're going to look closely, there's a huge difference. Now, let's start with the packaging. Now, side by side. They look the same, the font and all. But if you're going to look closely on the packaging, you will see that the font, the print, is more crisp and more clear on the original one compared to the counterfeit one. On to the batch code printing. I'll also show you a close-up photo here. The embossed stripes, they're more condensed compared to the counterfeit one. See? On the cap, you will see that the original one has a more rounded edge. The color of the cap of the original one is a little bit darker than the counterfeit. It's also more pearlized. Let's compare the nozzle. You will see that the nozzle for the original one is a little bit more rounded here. While the nozzle for the counterfeit one is a bit more flat. This packaging is actually very unique for the Milano CC. This kind of nozzle prevents the product from overspilling or um, dispensing excessive product. So, I'll show you why. Well, this is the counterfeit one, and this is the original one. As you can see, the nozzle on the counterfeit product, it dispenses more product and more rapidly compared to the original one. I'm going to try the counterfeit one. I'm going to drop it here. There's a huge difference on the scent. The counterfeit one also has a citrus scent, but the citrus scent is more like air fresheners, diffusers. That's how it smells, like a fake citrus, you know? I don't know if you get what I mean, but that's how I describe it. And now, for the original one, it also has a citrus scent, but it's a little bit more mild compared to the counterfeit one. The scent kind of disappears as you blend it to your skin. I cannot visibly show you the difference of their texture because both of the products are clear. But what I can say is that the counterfeit one feels a little bit more oily than the original one. The counterfeit one feels warmer on the face. For some weird reason, when I tried this before, it makes my face sweat a lot. It, you can tell that there's a warmth. No, it, it's not... Um, it's not hot, like you feel irritated whatsoever. It just feels warm. But for for the original one, I didn't feel any warmth on my face. I didn't get any weird feeling from it. Now, for the price, some sellers actually sell it at a lower price because it's actually very cheap in Japan. But some sellers also sell it at a bit higher price. So you cannot really use the price as a indicator if the product is original or not. But just to be safe, just buy it from a reputable seller or just get it through passabys, you know. They actually do have this in Sasa as well. However, they sell it at a higher price there, see. 
it's a lot more expensive in Sasa but just to be sure you can just purchase it from there so that's it guys I hope this video was really informative and was able to help you so today in this age J Beauty and K Beauty is on the rise like they're really really popular right now so we need to be more vigilant from buying counterfeits so it is also our duty as a consumer to be more vigilant when purchasing stuff online. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And please don't forget to share this video. Sharing is caring. Come on guys. So that other people will also know how to differentiate the counterfeit and the original Milano CC essence. So I'll see you again in my next vlog guys. Bye!